let's add custom wood to Minecraft. Alright, friends, let's back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding some custom wood to Minecraft. So this includes the logs, the wood, the stripped variants, as well as planks. So let's go into our mod blocks class and let's start adding this. So let's just copy over the grapevine once and then we're going to make this the jacaranda log. So this is going to be the actual log that we're going to implement, jacaranda log. And then making sure that this is actually the register block method that we're calling here. And this is going to be a pillar block. There you go. And this is going to copy actually from the oak log. And then the non opaque we actually don't need. Let's add the strength, you know, something like four. That's going to be fine. And then also, of course, requires tools. So this should be all of the calls that we need. And then we can copy this or duplicate this four times because then we're going to need the jacaranda wood. Of course, changing the name here as well. The actual uh, block here is going to stay. Then we have the stripped underscore jacaranda log. And then once again, stripped underscore jacaranda log right here. This here would be oak wood, by the way. And then this one would be stripped oak log. And then last but not least here, the stripped, making sure that we actually write it correctly. There you go. Stripped underscore wood, jacaranda underscore wood. And then here we have the stripped underscore jacaranda underscore wood. There you go. So then all of the four, you know, wood blocks, wood, uh, you know, log blocks are done. Then let's duplicate this one more time. And let's also add the jacaranda underscore planks. And then same here with the name, of course, planks. And then this one actually is just a normal block. And then here, this one, of course, takes from the oak planks, while this one takes from the stripped oak wood. There you go. So those are all of the blocks added. And that is pretty much almost the entire extent of the code. Now we still need to register those blocks as being flammable. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to add a new method. I'm actually going to copy this over. But no worries, everything of course here available to you in the description below GitHub repository and individual just as well. And you can see that this is the flammable register flammable blocks right here. And you can see we're basically just adding them with the particular, um, you know, values here. Those values are taken from the fire block. So if you press the shift key twice and then go and search for the fire block here, basically you can see all of the different blocks and what their burn chance and their spread chance is. And then you can just basically take this and use those numbers for your custom blocks here as well. So that is pretty much all that you need to do for that. And then it comes all to the JSON files. The JSON files are the one thing that is I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say annoying, but it is quite a lot. So the JSON files for the block states here is not, those are not that crazy, right? There's just one for each of the blocks, so five of them. But you can see, first of all, that most of them have variants. This is, of course, the reason why we're using the pillar block. If we middle mouse button click on this, you can see it has an enum property of direction axis. And this is, of course, reflected right here. So we have three different variants, axis X, axis Y, and axis Z. And that they just point to different models and or are rotated here on a different axis. So that's something to keep in mind here. So there's nothing too crazy going on with that. They all look the same pretty much. So there's nothing too crazy there. And then, of course, let's also add the translation right here. Just so that we have this. Let's copy this over. There you go. So like like always, of course, everything available for download as well. Because now, especially when we now go to the different JSON files for the model. So the block model JSON files, there are plenty of them. So you can see there are actually... Uh, seven of them, you can see the log, uh, both of the logs have the horizontal one as well. This is, of course, because, you know, there's a difference between the top and the outside of the of the log. And that is why you have different ones. And they all, you know, they're fairly similar. They are, they are all cube column. I believe the wood might be something different. No, that's all also cube column. Just has the same uh, textures here on the end and the side. The planks are just normal blocks. So the pl planks, basically, everything is just a normal block texture and block JSON files, so nothing too crazy there. Let's add the last ones. That would be the item models. There you go. So those are also five and they are they just point back to the block model JSON file. Nothing too crazy here. And then it comes to the actual textures as well. So let's see. There you go. So those would be five textures. We have the top of the log, the actual log. We have planks and then the stripped log and the stripped top variant. 
and that should be all that we need for that. And that is actually all that we need to add for the custom wood to be added. What's really important here, I mean, first of all, the JSON files, there's quite a few of them, but what's really important is that you use the pillar block, of course, so that it displays properly, and then also in the registries, right, so that you register the actual flammability. And then I would have almost forgotten it, but of course I did not forget it. Uh, I just wanted to wait, you know, until you notice it. Now, of course, we also need the strippability uh, to be added. And that is another method here. You, you can see it's just the strippable block registry dot register. And then you're registering the actual block and then what it turns into when you strip it. So that's really all that there is to it. Let's add this as well. There you go. What's also very important is that you add some tags, namely to your tutorial mode tags in the blocks folder, the jacaranda underscore logs tag. And then you can use that to basically reference the logs in the logs tag and the logs that burn tag. This is very important indeed, because otherwise your leaves in the next tutorial are going to decay. And that is, of course, not what we want. So be sure to add the logs in the logs underscore that underscore burn tag to the Minecraft folder in the blocks folder right here. And then to your custom one, the jacaranda logs. And you can see here are the four jacaranda logs basically referenced in our custom tag. And then the actual tag here is then referenced in the logs and the logs that burn tag. You can do that basically by adding the hashtag here in front. And that should then work. I just wanted to mention that quickly. And that's everything done. And let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, all of the wood have been added to the game successfully. So let's just set it down. You can see that all of the you know different ways that we can set it down basically work as well. We have the stripped variants right here. Let's just take a look at this. We have this one and then some planks as well. Let's also just try and use an axe. We can of course also use our custom axe and right click and there you go. Strippability also working totally fine. And now let's see if we, you know, set one block on fire. We should see the fire spread slowly around and, you know, not just go out basically. Because if we haven't, if you don't register the fire, then it basically just goes out and doesn't spread. Now let's see if we get lucky or if maybe we're getting unlucky here. There you go. Now we actually spread finally. So that was, uh, you know, a little bit of a... Thing. let's actually add another fire there why not and then you know we should see it spread faster but as you can see the block actually here already disappeared so everything working kind of i mean exactly how you would expect it to so that's really freaking cool right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.